Thank you very much for holding this committee meeting, and again, thank you for the um, very nice introduction. You've heard today that there are many problems in the field of Lyme disease, and I wanted to address one of the core problems that may not, you may not be aware of. Some have called this the Lyme disease conspiracy. There's in this country a core group of university-based Lyme disease researchers and physicians whose opinions carry a great deal of weight. Unfortunately, many of them act unscientifically and unethically. They exert strong, ethically questionable influence on medical journals, which enables them to publish and to promote articles that are badly flawed. They work with government agencies to bias consensus meetings and have worked to exclude from these meetings and scientific seminars those with alternate opinions. They, they behave this way for reasons of personal or professional gain and are involved in obvious conflicts of interest. Some of them are known to have received large consulting fees from insurance companies to advise the companies to curtail coverage or any additional therapy beyond their empiric 30-day course. This group promotes the idea that Lyme is a simple, rare illness that is easy to avoid, difficult to acquire, simple to diagnose, and easily treated and cured with 30 days or less of antibiotics. The truth, however, is that Lyme is a fastest growing illness in this country after AIDS, infectious illness after AIDS, with a cost to society measured in the billions of dollars. It can be acquired by anyone who goes outdoors, very often goes undiagnosed for months, years, or even forever in some patients, and can render the patient chronically ill and even totally disabled, despite what this core group of physicians refers to as, quotes, adequate therapy. Long-term studies on patients who were undertreated or untreated demonstrated the occurrence of severe illness more than a decade later, reminiscent of the findings of the notorious Tuskegee study. Following the lead of this group of physicians, a few state health departments have now begun to investigate in a very threatening way physicians who have more liberal views on Lyme disease diagnosis and treatment than they do. And indeed, I have to confess that today I feel that I am taking a personal risk a large one because I'm stating these views publicly for fear that I may suffer some repercussions despite the fact that many hundreds of physicians and many thousands of patients all over the world agree with what I'm saying here today. Burriscano's courageous testimony sparked fierce retribution from the steer camp and the infectious disease